Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Manzi Crypto, and today we're going to continue on with our Mobox series over here on YouTube. If you guys do enjoy, please remember to smash the like, subscribe if you're new. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, brand new event or slash uh, raffle or something like that is happening here on Mobox. And the only way to partake in it is going to be these steps that I'm going to read for you guys right here below. And then I'm going to give you guys also my take on how everything should work and stuff like that. So if you guys don't know, Mobox is coming out with their own metaverse. Um, they already are a metaverse, but it's going to become more uh, playable, more interactive. Or, any, or I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but let's say, for example, you want to go from one game to the other. You can either click on the link and just go there. Or you could use this character to run from uh, one place to the other, right? It depends on the avatar you get, how your character is going to look like. So you can pretty much see it as a uh, interactive metaverse. Uh, I don't know how to explain it more efficiently uh, than what I just mentioned. So you'll be able to run from one store to the other or from one game to the other and also interact with people that is doing the same thing, right? So it becomes more of an open world type feel uh, between the mobile mobile games, right? Um, we we can't debate about the games that Mobox is releasing. Uh, they could be running very smooth on a decent phone. Um, so you can say that their market is actually mobile. Anyway, uh, let's get into the video. So there's gonna be an airdrop right now on the avatars, which is why we're making this video in the first place. And I explained what the avatars do. Anyway, get excited, Mobox holders, announcing the Mobox avatar airdrop. Mobox will take a snapshot of the BNB chain on the April 5th, 2022. So that is pretty much a week from now. So you pretty much have a week or so uh, since I record this video. However, this video will only be uploaded on the very last day of March. So it's not April Fool's yet, you know what I'm saying? So, um, 8 a.m. UTC, each address on the BNB chain that means the following uh, that meets the co following co uh, conditions can obtain up to three avatar chests. Uh, Vembox stake duration period must be staked as long. So if you guys don't know what that is, if you go to your Mobox right here, you can see that I have 45,000. Uh, Vembox. If you click on Vembox boost right here, uh, if you put it on three years, that is considered long. The only way you'll be able to see it is on the left side here. So the shortest time you can stake it is one year. So you can choose one year, two years, three years. However, the longer you stake it, uh, the more Vembox you receive. So it becomes cheaper and cheaper to actually get this avatar the longer you stake it for. So that is uh, just a little tip right there. So you can see between 18,000 and 32,000, you get one avatar chest. Between 32,000 and 90,000, you'll receive two avatar chests. And anything more than 90,000 and one, uh, you'll be able to receive three avatar chests. So it's pretty rewarding. That's pretty nice. So Mobox avatar, the Mobox avatar is a smart contract uh, that is expected to be released after the official launch of Momoverse. The avatar chest will be airdropped to players after the avatar smart contract is, is released. Please stay tuned, coming soon. Mobox avatar is an ERC721 NFT. So these numbers means a lot. This means, for example, if you want to send the avatar from one address to the other, it must be ERC721 compatible. If you send it to a wallet that does uh, that is not ERC721 uh, uh, compatible, the person will not be able to receive it, and as well, you'll be you, that avatar will be lost, right? So you have to make sure that whenever you send an avatar, uh, that it is ERC. 721 compatible. Um, I, I, I'm, I, I'm not a, how can I say this? I, I don't know too much about blockchains or anything like that, but it's very important if you are going to send it to have a look into that, right? Otherwise, you might just uh, lose your avatar, which is never a good thing. Uh, there is no limited 
Uh, there's no limit of avatars each address can hold. Players can change to different avatars in the Momoverse to display. So while you're inside the game, you can change your avatar and change your appearance. Um, and you'll be looking different, right? You'll may, you may be looking like, let's say, for example, like Flash. And then if you click one button, you'll be looking like, um, I don't know, uh, some different character. <laughs> A cow. <laughs> Let me put it that way. <laughs> I don't know what avatars is going to be, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, each avatar has 15 uh, property attributes. Uh, property attributes are fixed and cannot be changed once minted. I'm looking forward to see what these properties are. Each property attribute of the avatar has a corresponding, a corresponding rarity and the rarity of limited property is less than 0.001. So it's a very, very low percentage chance. Avatars will have a comprehensive rarity based on the rarity of 15 property attributes. Each avatar has eight special slots, which can produce a Mosaic limited edition NFT. Um, okay, that's pretty interesting to be honest, because if you think about it, every single NFT that will be minted, if they have really this percentage chance, will be completely unique, even though they might somewhat look the same. My attributes and like if our character look ex same, the, the, exactly the same, my character will have completely different con uh, attributes uh, or stats pretty much than your character would, uh, which means even though we both have, let's say, uh, a purple uh, rarity NFT, um, just because I might be more lucky than you, uh, mine might be a, a lot more worth than yours. So just uh, keep that in mind. It is, I would say, a complete gamble of what you're going to receive, which is pretty nice. Uh, cooperative brand clothes and display in the Mobox game. Avatar withdrawals from Binance. Please stay tuned for more info. So uh, there's a lot of people that actually have avatars now that is inside the Binance. Um, not Binance Smart Chain, but Binance itself. Uh, at a later stage, they'll be able to withdraw these into uh, their Binance Smart Chain wallet or their Mobox wallet and be able to use them, in, um, you know, once once the Momoverse is out, uh, they will definitely um, display on how to use it or how to actually, yeah, withdraw it and stuff like that. So the Mobox avatar is uh, the identity of a unique Web3 ID used in the Momoverse. Players who hold avatars can participate in Mo Profession, Mo Social and Momo Home. So there's going to be three things that people with avatars will be able to do what others who do not have avatars will not be able to do. I cannot take a guess on what Mo Profession is. Um, I have no idea. Most social sounds like uh, you'll be able to talk to one another and interact with one another inside the Momo world. Uh, so, and the Momo home, I'm not too sure. I, I think the Momo home might be where you could see your avatars, their stats, and which one you're going to select to use. Um, not too sure what Mo profession is, though. Maybe they'll explain a little bit later. Uh, subsequent games in the Momoverse will have certain requirements, avatar rarity. The Mobox platform will open an uh, avatar market. Mobox avatar can be listed on any third NFT marketplace. So I'm pretty sure that this is not the case. It should be third party NFT marketplace. Um, any third NFT marketplace uh, doesn't make sense. So that means uh, if it's third party, um, let's say, for example, Mobox partners up with, I don't know, let's say Binance as an example, you'll be able to use the Binance marketplace, purchase your avatar, move it over to the Binance smart chain and use the avatar inside the game. Okay, so you'll be able to purchase this from a third party website, which is really nice. So you're going to just show a little bit of the avatars, which is nice, looking, looking very good. Avatar chests on BNB addresses cannot be transferred. Players can use Mobox to buy Avatar chests in the Momoverse. 
players can replace the avatar they hold into an avatar chest in the Momoverse, Mobox cost required. Okay, that is a pretty big thing that they're saying there, and I'll get to back get back to that right now. And the original avatar ID will be cancelled. Okay, so if I'm looking at this, Mobox cost required, I'm actually, or requires, I'm actually very happy about this part because if you go to the store right now inside Mobox or the market, everything is being purchased here with BUSD, which is fine. There's no issue with that. The only problem is that they could give another use case, uh, use case to Mobox itself by having the whole marketplace being displayed as Mobox, right? Um, because then if you sell one, let's say, for example, I buy this from this guy, this guy gets the Mobox. He could sell the Mobox, obviously. But for me right now, as a Mobox holder, I would need to sell my Mobox or an NFT or something like that in order to get my hands on a something else, for example. And maybe this guy don't want to get the BUSD, so he would have to buy in again. And for me, I don't want the BUSD, so I'm gonna, I'll have to sell to buy, right? So it makes more sense that, or it make it, yeah, it makes more sense that we pay in Mobox more than we pay in BUSD. And that is just my opinion. Um, okay, so we did read that one. Opening the avatar chest will mint a new avatar. And the avatar ID starts from 1000 and accumulates sequentially. Not exactly sure what that means though, to be honest. What are the Mobox avatars? Momo Mians? So they'll be called Mians or something? Um, Mobox avatars, Momo Mians. Oh, okay, so that is the names they're giving it. For me, it's just Mobox avatars or just avatars, to be honest. Are a virtual a repre representation of you used in the Momoverse. Uniquely, that, uh, uniquely just yours, there are digital versions of a, wa a walking, talking you where you where you control and express your best self in the graphical character of you your little creation will allow you to express your identity in the mobox digital realm go to shopping play games work life or live live life do what you do best and all your personalized and customized self what better way to get to know the ins and outs of a magical Momo verse, uh, Momo metaverse um, than, than with your own mini me? <laughs> Are you serious? Wouldn't you say? Now imagine a world where other Momo meons roam around and socialize together, living their best life, and you can get up close and personal, joining in Mobox games together and be a part of so much more fun in the alternative universe, using your Momo Mian to guide the way. I mean, interacting with the other Moboxers, Momo Mians. Wow, now that's pretty neat. Take your Momo Mian and enter the whole new dimension. Be in control of your action. Interact with the Moboxers. Make new friends. As you go about your day living uh, within the Momoverse space, you can explore. You can also create and you monetize. Wow, that sounds pretty good. Are you ready to join in on the fun Team Mobox? This part right here, I don't know about this one right here. So this means that you'll be able to make money by running around. I'm not too sure what that means, to be honest. But we'll see. We'll see. To be honest, guys, my personal take and my personal opinion. I think this game, or let's say, for example, the, the metaverse, uh, they don't need this, to be honest, because 
you, you, you can just go from one place to another. The cool thing about this is that it's going to, it's going to have a whole different feel and a whole different set of people that is going to join, right? There are one of the biggest games, like, I can't remember the name of it though, but one of the biggest games that uh, I've seen a lot of big streamers play is where you literally do nothing, but you stand around and talk to people. I think this game was on Wii or something. I, I could be wrong. But it's literally you put on a VR set and you're inside this character looking around, right? And you, you just keep talking to one another. It's, it's weird. It's weird. But it's definitely going to bring in a, a whole different set of people, not just people that enjoy mobile games, right? It's definitely has a token, uh, has a, a market out there that's going to, uh, see this very beneficial my personal opinion about this like i said before it's not needed however uh it's very nice to have right it's like it's like saying uh it's like having a phone that can't have gps but you know the road anyway where you're going to right even though you don't need that gps it is still very nice to have right if something happens whatever you'll know how to get there it's pretty much uh, the gist of it. That's how I see it, at least. Let me know what you guys think about this update that's coming out. Um, unfortunately, we just don't know exactly a date when it's coming out. However, the um, the snapshot's going to be done on the 5th of April. And who knows? I don't know when this Momoverse is coming out. However, I think a lot of people, including me, are very excited to at least check it out. I think it's going to be awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash the like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Take care. And as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye.